Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pint Time with Backpacker Mike. I'm going to be trying this Sober Carpenter White Belgian Ale. It should be a Belgian Ale. It is near beer, contains less than 0.5%. So it's an NA type of day today, with the exception of one that I will be doing that doesn't have, or that does have alcohol in it. Anyways, comes in at 16 IBUs, malt, to uh, toasted wheat, oat flakes, and cara. Uh, the hops they use is Haller, Haller Tau, Haller Tau Middle Lefru. I I've never heard of those. Spices is bitter orange and coriander because, you know, that goes good with a wheat beer. So I'm going to get into this a sober carpenter white Belgian um, ale here soon. Uh, but first, it is almost Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you out there. I hope you have an amazing, safe holiday as well. Uh, Halloween, happy Samhain. Uh, if you happen to be a Wiccan or, uh, you know, whatever who celebrates the Samhain festival. Anyway, let's get into some of the spookiest Halloween festivals around the world that you can go to. And let me get into one that's right here in the United States, and that is in New York. It is the Village Halloween parade. One of the New York uh, one of New York City's most highly sought after events or touted events, the Village Halloween Parade comprises of over 50,000 uh, paraders uh, who revel in three hours of festival fun in the West Village. The cool thing is is anyone could participate in the parade as long as you have a costume on. Uh, mixed in the parade, you will also find about 50 or more bands from all around the world who are playing in the parade, as well as dancers, giant puppets, artists, drag queens, and thousands of New Yorkers in creative outfits. So really cool place to go check that out uh, in the villages there. All right, let's get into this Belgian sober carpenter. White ale and see if it's all about. There's only been a, a very select few so far of NAs that I've really enjoyed um, that really kind of taste like beer more than the other ones. See, this one also has a little bit of that tea nose to it. Um, it's like, uh, you know, it's like you got the hops and you got the barley and you got all that stuff and you boil it in the water, right? So... I think that probably the better NAs are the NAs that they brew and then extract the alcohol out of it, uh, as opposed to brewing it without the alcohol in it. Uh, I'm not sure. So anyway, let's give this one a try. All right, here we go. Cheers, pro, slancha, and skull for my Nordic friends. You know who you are. It's actually not that bad. It's got a nice mouthfeel to it. Uh, it come ac comes across initially as like a normal beer, but the aftertaste that is now kicking in just sort of seems like, yeah, it's an NA. It's a, it's a beer tea. It's still pretty, pretty decent. Like the initial mouthfeel on it is pretty good. That hoppy kind of uh, earthy bitterness kind of kicks in at the end of it, but it's not too bad. Um, I have the poison beaker glasses again. Let's do a hard pour on this just to see if it changes the complexity at all. There you go. Actually, a hard pour might not be quite as bad because you get that... You get like all those flavors, all those kind of beery flavors together along with the bitterness. I think the hard pour probably comes out a little bit more close to, say, you know, a Belgian uh, than it does in the can. I would say the initial mouthfeel, the initial mouth flavor that you get out of the can uh, is all the way through uh, the sip on the hard pour. So I would recommend the hard pour if you want to try this. I would recommend the hard pour to do it, but try it either way yourself. But yeah, it's really not that bad. Like the hard pour kind of changes my score a little bit. I'm going to go a seven with this one. This one isn't too bad on the hard pour. I prefer the hard pour than straight out of the can. 
but it's not that bad. So I'm going to go with seven. I'm going to go with seven on that. And as always, thank you for hanging out with me on Pine Time. Peace, love, and let's continue to experience this beautiful world together. And you guys have an amazing Halloween. Peace.